Hello everyone, this is the Game and Pup here, and today we are back for more 31 Nights of Terror. This time we are doing a, another random horror games video, but this time we are playing five games to sort of make up for the days that I have missed. So day 14, 15, 16, 17, and today's video, or what is meant to be today's video. So we are going to start off with The Baby in Yellow. This is a small game I found on Itch.io. All these games are Itch.io games, so I'll leave the link down below if you want to check any of these games out. Let's begin. Night one. The sitter. It's time for bed. The child. Is that what you think? The Baby in Yellow, Act 1, Scene 2. Okay. That's not sinister in the slightest. So, hello. Ooh. Okay, sensitivity is good. All right. Hello. Get bot. Oh. Oh. Okay. We need a bot. Did I see something? Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna get your bottle and we'll get your bottle and feed you. Oh. There we are. Give bottle to baby. Sure thing. Uh, I don't like the smile on your face. Please don't smile at me like that. I'll see your eyes. Okay, you want to be changed. Sure thing. Let's just set you down. You stay right there. Get new nappy. Here we go. And... How'd you get over there? How? Put baby to bed. Take baby to bed. Okay, I will do that. Uh, what do we got here? Reputation how to repair them. Mysteries of the Hades. The Lake of Holly, a visitor's guide. Okay, interesting books. Can we leave? No, we cannot. Okay, let's take you to bed. You need to go to bed. It's part of the chores. Wait, actually, that's locked, and that's locked. Okay, so it must be this door. Ah, yes, here's your room. How to Dream Like a King, Volume 2. Huh. There we go, you just... Okay, Ooh, don't look at me like that. Turn the light out, there we go, perfect. Wait for parents, watch TV on the sofa. Right, I'm seeing things in the paintings. There are definitely things I'm seeing. Let's sit on the sofa. And watch... What? My phone's going off. Oh. Settle, baby. Oh, let's settle him. That door just opened by itself. Hello? Where'd the baby go? Where did the baby go? What? How did you get there? Oh, you look evil. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this, buddy. I, I don't have time for this. I'm just babysitting you. There we go. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here we go. Did you just open the door? Don't do that. There we go. Okay. Let's go watch TV. Let's close these doors. And watch TV on the sofa, even though we're falling asleep. There's a face in the paint. I'm see okay. That doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right at all. Night two. A child. Ha ha ha. Look, look. Isn't it funny? Sitter. I told you not to do that. The baby and you'll act two scene one. I've given the baby a sinister uh, sound or voice to it. Which I don't know how accurate that is. See? Ugh. God, where's the baby? Get bottle from fridge. Sure thing. Uh, 
Oi. Hey. Oi. Who closed? You were not there before. How'd you get there? You just... There you go. Change baby. Oh, of course. You know, before I do that, I want to check things. Locked. Locked. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Ooh, what is it? Key. What does this go to? Must go up. One of the doors up here. No. Oh. Oh, what is this? Snow. A curiosity in July. Following such a sweet spring. It started when I took this job. But I was not the first. They are with me. Night fell the first day. And the hours dragged on. Still we cared for the child. We spoke of Haster and Casilda in their absence. While outside the fog rolled in as the cloud waves roll and break on the walls. Oh, the sin of such innocent eyes. Clear as crystal. Understood by the ignorant and wise alike. More precious than jewels. More soothing than music. Hmm. More awful than death. Then, as I fell, I knew that the baby in yellow had opened their tattered mantle, and it was only God to cry to now. Okay then, I'm just gonna back up and close the door. Let's go. Hello, baby? Oh, you're still down here. You're still in a dirty diaper. I really should not have kept you in a dirty diaper. Here we go. Okay, you you stay there. Get new neck. Oh, how dare you? No, no, you come here. The heck? Oh, oh, must be the parents' room. Talismans and their uses in childcare. What? Okay then. You. Child, you come here. Take baby to bed. Sure thing, we'll do. Oh no, nope, mm -mm. nope. You're going straight to bed for that. You're going right to bed for that. You do not do that. There we go. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye. I don't have time to deal with you. Chill out, watch TV on the sofa. Great, I'll do that. Do okay. Ooh, chill out on the sofa, please. Oh God. That was not nice. <laughs> but it's not nice. Night three, the sitter. Good night, sweet dreams. The child. I will show you my dreams. Oh no. The baby in yellow, act three, scene three. Is the baby in yellow something like from literature? Watch TV on the sofa. Well, where's the baby? What about the baby? Where's the, is the baby in here? No. Settle baby, go upstairs and settle baby. Sure thing. Turn the lights out. Okay. Find something to eat. Perhaps a cheese toasty? What is a cheese toasty? Oh, feed me. Oh, brother. Okay. Sure thing. Oh. What is this? Feed the baby, you monster. I'm not the monster. How am I the monster? What? Oh. Oh. Okay, why is everything hazy? Take baby to the changing table. Sure thing, we'll do. Here we go, baby. Here we go. You just stay right there. In the <laughs> Get parents' talisman from. Don't have to tell me twice. Why do they have this? 
What is this baby? Whose baby is this? Exercise baby. Here we go. Oh! You. I ain't dealing with it. None of it. Are you T-posing on me? Oh. Oh, how dare you. Come here. Settle, baby. What? Good night. That was the baby in yellow. Interesting experience. Very odd. <laughs> Little spooky. That's all I really have to say about it, you know? Uh, okay, so that was the baby in yellow. Let's move on to the next game. So we got the next game in this video, which is Can a Cute Ghost Story Be Spooky? Which is been made by Dima Studios. Now this doesn't look like a horror game, but it's considered a horror game. Looks can be deceiving. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this thing. Based on a true invented story. Hi oh. kids, ready to be scared? I don't want to lie. It will be a very scary story. If you get scared easily, you are free to leave. Really? Are you still here? Yes. So, do you want to hear the story? Okay. Yes. Okay. Don't complain with me if you cry. I warned you. Well, in a dark cemetery full of scary ghosts, there's an old house haunted by a specter called Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy is only 374 only. years old. He's basically just a little kid like you. And I, in I'm this house kid. that our story begins. Like every night, Jimmy takes his favorite oh. hat in front of the mirror before leaving the house. No one can understand how special that hat is to Jimmy. It was given to him by his mother for his 276th birthday. If only someone tried to steal it. <laughs> Jimmy would probably go crazy. Oh, oh, there's a reflection. So that's what that we're playing as Jimmy. Oh, okay. There we go. You got the hat. Be a cool ghost. Pizza. So we must like pizza. Me, made by Jimmy. Okay, then. Interesting. Take the hat and leave the house. This is a dark and spooky night. But well, Jimmy doesn't care. He is always happy. Usually Jimmy greets the family before going to the town. He is such a thoughtful guy. Hmm. Uh, before we do that, I want to look at the graves. Eddie, he always liked cats. All right. Annie, she doesn't talk too much. Benny, he was never good at playing guitar. Oh, these, these feel like... These sort of seem to be like similar to Greystones of the Haunted Mansion. Remembering obelisk for the coolest dudes of the past. Right? David, he tasted a strange new drink in the banquet during a political conference. Anderson, he lived a quiet life until he was arrested by the police for fraudulent bankruptcy. And Mike, he believed that people's decision making power was a good thing, betrayed by his own people. Of course. Of course. It's a run button. Ricky, he knew the alphabet. How does that get you killed? Alright, but whatever. Oliver, he spent all his money on market uh, shares. He lost everything. Not stonks. Okay, then. Dylan, he wanted to save money f on medical care. I'm guessing that's how he died. Connor, he accidentally donated $1 to a charity. How, that, how is that a bad thing? Gabriel, business, business, and other business. Thomas, he spent millions of dollars on a private jet. It exploded. Born an abandoned ancient crypt. Ooh. Can't go in it, though. Anything around the back? Oh, what's this? Be happy, I guess? All right, go to your family. Hmm. Will do. Oh, hello. 
it's a little spider. I guess. Yeah, it's a spider. All right. We want to rest in peace. Private cemetery. He didn't believe in death. Hello, family. Bob. How are you today? Come on, guys. Seems to be in a mortuary. Answer me, please. Okay. I'll play some music. Death is too long to be bored. Jack, dad during a game show, just won some pancakes. Jacob, he believed he could fly. Oh, of course. Has the same name as me. William, he ordered a pineapple pizza in an Italian restaurant. There's nothing wrong with pineapple and pizza. Jimmy, he accidentally set the house on fire because he saw a spider. Okay, I guess we'll play music. I hope you like this music. It will last approximately 20 hours. Jimmy, stop oh my this God. music now. Sorry, but this music cannot be stopped. Now I'm going to town. Bye. Jimmy, come here. You... Wow, that's why I love Jimmy. He is so innocent and naive. Luckily, <laughs> I applied some family-friendly filters to this story. We certainly uh... don't want to see Jimmy cry. Yeah, we don't want to see that. After two hours, Jimmy has finally arrived. And now he's so hungry. Luckily, he knows an excellent Italian restaurant in town. It's a perfect night to eat pizza. But we're a ghost. Why do we need to eat? Never mind. I'm not going to even question, try and question it. Oh, oh. F another balloon is popped. Oh. Hey, dude, don't be mad. Do you want to get a pizza with me? I'll pay for it. Really? Thanks, buddy. Anyway, I'm Dave. It's nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you, too. Follow me to the restaurant. Now Jimmy and his new friend are ready to have a good night of fun. Hmm. So we are. What's this over here? Uh, that's a... Is that a pentagram? Or supposed to be? Hi. Okay, let's just go. Hey, Dave, you're in my way. Oh, Dave. Okay, Italian restaurant, Sapori d'Italia. Menu, appetizers, uh, bruschetta, or arancini di riso, pasta alla bolognese, lasagna, tortellina in brodo, vegetal, cotoletta, cotoletta alla milanese, polo alla cic. Cacciatora, insalata, mista con mozzarella, gelato, and tiramisu. If I pronounced any of those wrong, I am so sorry. I do not mean to do that. What's that say down there? We apologize for the inconvenience. We printed the menu half in English and the other half in Italian. <laughs> no, those are just the names. <laughs> Whatever. Ah. Everyone's a ghost, of course. That makes sense. Jimmy, nice to see you again. Hello, is the guy next Mario. to you your new friend? Yes, of course. his name is Dave. He likes to eat pizza like me. Well, Dave, you are in the right place. I make the best Italian pizzas in town. Now take a seat so I'll take your orders. Thanks. You seem like a very nice person, Mario. Take a seat. Or take a sip. Jimmy, aren't you forgetting something? Um, huh? Yeah, yeah. I have to wash my hands before eating, you know, hygiene first. Good boy, Jimmy. Good boy. Makes sense. Wash your hands, ladies, gentlemen. Oh, you're just gonna follow us? Okay. You gonna wash your hands as well, or just... No? Okay. Alrighty then, of course. Uh, so we are the best customer. Let's sit down and okay, guys, order something. Which pizza do you want to order? Four season pizza, margarita pizza, or mushroom pizza? Hmm. Mushrooms aren't bad, but I'm not big about them. Margarita is all right. Four season, probably Good four season. Choice, Jimmy. And you, Dave? What do you want to order? I would like to taste the most traditional pizza in Italy, the pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is a traditional Italian pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, you didn't tell me your new friend was so funny. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Ah. Uh, uh. Jimmy, how many times have I told you not to let these pizza criminals into my restaurant? Sorry, Mario. I thought Dave was a normal ghost. Guess I was wrong. Now, can I have my pizza? Of course. You always remain my favorite little customer. One hour later. Mario's pizza is always good. Yes, it's true. 
But to be honest, Mario seems strange these nights. Why is he a strange narrator? Mario seems more angry lately. I think something is going on. Yeah, maybe you're right. But it doesn't really matter now. I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. Okay, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Oh. No. Loon Pop. There's nothing wrong with pineapple and pizza. Also, it doesn't make anyone else different or not normal. Also, what's the definition of normal anyway? There is no such thing as normal in society if you really think about it. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Put the hat near the mirror and go to sleep. Sure thing. Let's go to sleep. Oh. Enjoy the party, Jimmy. Press here for additional fun. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Which way do we want to go? Uh, we'll go this way. And the music stopped. My hat. Ooh. Oh no! This hole stole my hat. Now the party's oh. ruined. Oh, huh. someone's oh. knocking on the door. Well, maybe it's my friend Dave. Possibly. Go to the door. Okay. Pardon? Okay, I don't know what that was about. Jimmy, Jimmy, oh, my balloons geez. were stolen. I'm very worried. Be calm. In my party, there are many balloons. Follow me. Thanks, friend. I knew I could trust you. Absolutely, you can trust me, mate. You can always trust me. Uh... What happened here? Hallway change. Party's gone? I'm sorry, Dave. There are no more balloons now. Dave? Wh what? Oh. D Dave, wh where are you? Oh, God, my leg. Sorry, my leg's itching. Ah. Oh. There we go. Oh. Hmm. I don't know where Dave went. Duh. Oh, Jesus. What a strange dream. Luckily, it's all fake. Nobody stole my... Oh, f***. No. Oh. Someone stole my favorite hat like in my dream. The thief must have made a hole in the wall to get into my hat. Oh, hey, Narita, look at me. <laughs> Can you hear me? What should I do now? Narrator? Narrator? Now this is weird. Last night he told me he had to tell me something important today. And now he's gone. Oh, it's Dave. Better open the door. How do you know it's Dave? The window, you can't even look out the window. See through the window. Jimmy, Jimmy, my balloon. Yeah, I know. The balloons have been stolen and you're very worried. What? How did you know that? Are you the thief? It's not no. me. I just had a premonitory dream. Tonight, even my favorite hat was stolen. Before knocking on your door, I saw someone enter the ancient abandoned crypt. Maybe it's the thief. Really? Let's go, friend. We must take back what is ours. Okay, here we go. Go to the abandoned ancient crypt. Excuse me. Oh, damn. Yep, you got the hole in the wall. Okay. Jimmy, stop. What? I, I can't go with you. What's the what? problem, dude? Why? Don't you want to get your balloons back? Yeah, I want them back. I'm just afraid of abandoned places. You're afraid you of abandoned alone. places. You'll be with me. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but I'm staying here. Ah, uh, you're just a wimp. I, I don't need you. Oi. I'll go in there alone. You don't call your friend a... That's really rude. I don't need Dave. I can find my hat by myself. Explore the crypt and find the thief. Will do. See anything over there? I don't see anything. Let's go this way. Hmm. This place is spooky. I don't like it. Lord the Crypt and find the thief. Yep. Yep, here we go. 
Also, whenever I do play random horror games, it's just going to be called random horror games and not have the number in front. Because that just, that works better. As I, as I have found. Hmm. Man, there's a lot of stairs in this crypt. It's a crypt. We got to keep going down deeper and deeper. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep yawning. I don't mean to keep yawning. What is this place? I've never oh. been here before. Ooh, looks like it's flooded. We got three ways we can go. That way, that way, or that way. What about this way? Oh. Okay, that's not it. So it seems like they break this way? Yep. Hmm. This way? That seems too obvious. I bet you that one would break, so... Go this way, and... This way. There we go. Let's blow up a crypt and find the thief. Oh, huh. that might be it. Thief. That no, might be who it is. Better find a weapon to hit him. Okay, find a weapon. Danger, do not enter. Very dark area. Don't want to go there. Aha! Here this we go. Could come in handy. It's gonna come in handy. Though, how is this gonna hit him? He's a ghost, remember? Oh, this hurts! Oh. Who are you? I'm Jimmy, and I'm here to get my hat back. You understand that, thief? I'm not a thief! Wait, what? So what are you doing here, then? I'm the famous Professor William. I'm from England. Professor William. these ancient inscriptions. What? They look like they're drawn by five-year-old kids. You're just a troglodyte. You don't understand the importance of history. It all began 15 centuries ago. Lord Frederick was governor and... Uh, I don't have time for that now. I really have to find my hat. Okay, mm -hmm. if it helps. I saw a dude with a chef's hat a while ago. He was holding a red hat in his hand. My hat is red, and the dude over there with the chef's hat is Mario. So where did it go? I, I really need to know. He entered the door near me. Thanks, Professor. You're pretty helpful, actually. Uh, where do you think you're going? You have to do one thing. Did you think hitting me with a piece of wood had no consequences? Uh, okay, what, oh, what do you want boy. me to do? You have to bring me an ancient map. Why? It's in a very dangerous area of the crypt. Some say they have seen strange ghosts in this area. Strange worry, ghosts? Just a story I don't want to know. Made up to scare the kids. Moreover, it's very dark there. Luckily, I'm also an inventor. I created special glasses to see better in the dark. Do you want them? Sure thing. I'm glad someone tries my inventions. I'm sure these glasses will be very useful for you. I hope so. Mission, find the ancient map. God damn it. Okay, fine. I'm assuming this wow, way. Wow, these glasses are very useful. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, these are useful. These are definitely useful. That didn't get me. This is this is not a scary game. Like this is Look, just battery. What? a silly one. Man, these glasses are useless. Battery oh. ran out immediately. Well, that sucks. Oh god, I can't see much. I'm just gonna continue looking at the ground. There's an arrow on the floor. Oh. Maybe if I follow it, I'll find something. Okay, let's follow the arrows. There we go, there's another. And I'm assuming if we want to go back, we just go back the way we came. The map. Ooh. I better take oh. it and get out of this dark place. There we go, take the map and go to the exit. Perfect. Will do. Okay, that was pretty simple. Hmm. There we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Found our way out. Oh, God. It's so dark in here. I don't like this. Oh! 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 Okay, run. I don't know, there must be something behind me. Oh! Okay. Talk to the Professor William. Alright, here we go. There you oh, go. I found the map. Excellent! 
Was it difficult to find? Not so much. Mostly, it was just very dark in that place. Luckily, you had my special glasses. Was it useful? Uh, what's glasses useful? I tell him the truth or tell him a lie? Hmm. If I tell him the truth, he's going to be really upset. If I tell him a lie, he may find out. Oh, it's best to tell the truth. Honestly, your glasses suck. The battery yeah. literally ran out in like 10 seconds. You should like get a real job. And uh, sorry, but I have to find my hat. I've wasted way too much time with you. An inventor is a real job. It's not a fake job. Damn, Jimmy, you, you are a mean. We are rude. We are really rude. Ah, there it is. There's my hat. My hat. My hat. Congratulations, oh. Jimmy. Oh. You did it. What? Hello. Yeah, Jimmy. Oh, congratulations. Geez. Uh, can someone explain to me what's happening? We stole your hat just to create an adventure for you. We only did it because today is your birthday. Guys, oh. my birthday's not today. Also, oh. someone has to give me some money to repair that wall of my house. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, look behind you. A flying unicorn. Where what? is it? Uh, uh, guys, where are you? Come back. Oh, they ran like, away. Like, I really want that money. Well, this is the end of our story. I hope the story wasn't too scary for you. Now, Jimmy no, will have it wasn't. to pay for the damage with his own money. But in the end, he found his favorite hat, and this hat... Oh, that's good. It's me. Oh. Yeah, kids. I'm a talking hat and narrator of this story. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of cute ghost story beef. Uh, spooky. That was an intriguing little game. That... That wasn't fully that scary, except for that one moment that got me. But that's really all. Let's move on right next on to the next game. Okay, so we're moving on to the next game. This is interesting. Oh. Interesting opening. But this game is called Dying of Thirst. Another small game I found on Itch.io. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, this is actually inter- This is really interesting. Actually. Ooh, it's pixelated. Okay. Can we mess with the light switch? No. Okay. Interesting. We're at home. Nice. Can't run. Or anything like that. Aquarium. I already fed the fish earlier. I just hope the pump isn't broken still. Oh. It's not good if the pump's broken. Okay. Let's get some water. Let's get what we need. Let's get what we need. Let's get... Oh. Um. Excuse me. You are not supposed to be there. Okay, let me just. I'm, I'm just. Let me just fill level. What? Wait. I don't remember that being on the stove. Okay, you know what? Stop it. Shut up. Hmm. This is a little interesting. Oh. oh, that person ran away. Where did they go? I I'm actually No. Uh uh. Why are we doing this? fish what are y'all doing come on it's too many bubbles too many bubbles 
That figure is still gone. I'm scared it's gonna pop up somewhere and I'm not gonna like it. Okay. That is really loud. That's annoying. That's annoyingly loud. God. This is my game console. I'd probably get in trouble for playing it this late. And. Uh, if I, if I woke up in the middle of the night and saw something like that, okay, I, I would, um, I'd leave the house. I, I would just automatically leave. I am not staying for this. I don't care. If I'm thirsty, can we please close the door? Why do you sleep with your door open? Oh. And that was dying of thirst. Thanks for playing. Please consider giving a rating. I shall once I finish this. So that was dying of thirst. That was that was definitely a little spook. I got chills just from playing that a bit. Oh god, I'm already I still have chills. Okay, let's move on to the next game. Darkstone Digital. So the next game I've decided to pick is the Mortuary Assistant. This is the demo for the Mortuary Assistant, which will be coming out next spring of next year. I'll definitely be checking this game out when it comes out. So let's actually, before I do anything. Okay, it's already on full screen. Never, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, new game. Let's jump straight into it. Hello. Hi Valerie, it's Raymond. I know it's late and I'm really sorry, but I have a huge favor to ask you. I had a late pickup over at Sacred Waters and I just started the embalming maybe 20 minutes ago, but I have a family emergency I need to leave the office for. Would you be able to come in and finish it up? I mean, sure, but I haven't done one alone yet. Are you sure that'd be okay? You've been doing a great job and I'll leave a checklist for you just in case. I took care of some of the prep work already. I really appreciate it. All right. I'll be there in just a moment. Great, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna help in an embalming process of a body? I don't like that. Let's see, what do we got here? Space bar to look at clipboard, thank you. I've already checked vitals, bathed the body, and set the face, you know what you're doing by now, but just in case, here's a list. Embalming procedure checklist. Wear coat and gloves. I didn't bring the tools out yet. So bring two bins, syringes, scalpel, and uh, throwers to the side table. Okay. All right, so I'm guessing we're going in here. And it's a body. Of course we have to be doing this. Why do we have to be doing this? Why did we decide to do this late at night? I I didn't want to do this. Okay. Bring the tools out. Yeah, it's uh, tube and syringes, scalpel, and throwers. Okay. Lightning. Here we go. Got something. Tissue builder. It's not what we need. Don't need that. So, syringes, tubing, scalpel, and throwers. Hmm. Syringe, I'll take that. It looks like she's smiling from this direction, but if we look at her from here. Hmm. 
Oh god. Okay, no, no. Uh-uh. Don't don't do that. Do do not smile. I don't know if y'all heard that. Prototype. That's not what I need. I don't need that either. I heard someone knocking. Tubing. Tubing? Where'd the tubing be? Oh, here we go. Okay, that's not it. Tissue builder. Formaldehyde. No. Where would tubing be? Oh. Slit your throat. Oh. Oh, now it's gone. Syringe, scalpel, trokers, which we got, and tubing. Is this tubing? Ah, oh, this must be. Okay, there we go. Create the embalming mixture in the machine. Formaldehyde, lutra, uh, thrall, dehyde, and ethanol. Okay, so we got some formaldehyde right here. Is this where we put it in? Ah, uh, yep, that's where we put it. Pack in sponge, we don't need. This is the Glutra. And then ethanol. Hmm. Where would ethanol be? Ah, oh, got my nose. Nope, I don't touch any of those. Ethanol, ethanol, ethanol. Where would ethanol be? Nope, this box is a prototype. It's funny. Nope. Disposable scalpels. Ah, ethanol. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, creating incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein. Oh, brother. Oh, I don't want to do this. Okay. The shield is in it. That which will not bend must break. The broken will become like this. Oh! The shield is in it. That which will not bend must break. Ah. Become my vessel. I am here. Those who do not know me will know me when they hear the knock. Oh! Do you know me? No. How? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Open the damn door. Oh, God. I, I don't want to be in here. Oh. Hello. I just uh should I leave you to that? I feel like I should leave you to that. I just goodbye. I have to go towards her, don't I? Hi. Hi, head buddy. Head buddy? Hi. Oh, why'd the door close behind me? Oh, don't look at me. Please don't look at me. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you for playing the prototype to the mortuary assistant. 
This was an early concept that spawned the development of the full title. The full game will cover the entire embalming process of countering the uh, countering demonic entities and laying restless souls to rest. Oh my god, please consider supporting my work by playing my other games. Follow in development via Twitter and Twitch. The horror has only begun. Oh my god. Okay, so... They do have other games like Our Secret Below and Kohote. Kohate? Kohote? And The Subject. Uh. Alright, I may in the future check them out. And this was a decent demo or prototype to the game. So, I definitely think I am going to check out the full game once it is out. Or at some eventual point when it's out. But I like this. I'm looking forward to the full release. And let's move straight on to the last game of the night. And here we have the last game of the night. Called Start Survey. This is really loud. Oh dear. Okay, Start Survey. Are you having a nice day? The day was alright. It didn't go too badly. It was definitely busy at work. I'll say that much. Do you have many responsibilities? Absolutely at work. I, abs absolutely. During the day, I definitely have a lot of responsibilities. 7.43. Wait a minute. Is that the time it is right now? That's the actual time. Oh my god. Okay. Look around for a moment. Alright. My bedroom, I see. Oh god, I don't like that. No, close that. Are you familiar with your surroundings? Not really. Do you know where you are? Not exactly. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Have you ever had a panic attack? Shut up. No. <laughs> Do you find yourself questioning your existence? No, I don't question my existence. Do you believe there is a God? That is really hard to say. Uh, cause... I'm agnostic, so I do believe in a higher power, but... Can't prove or disprove it. So I guess you could say yes. Are you answering these questions out of free will? Absolutely. Nobody is designed for me. Are you certain? Yes, I am. Do you feel comfortable in your room? Ah. I mean, yeah. I definitely feel comfortable in my own room. Like the actual room I'm in. Yeah, I feel comfortable. If the lights went out, would you be scared? That depends. No. Oh. Have you ever wondered when you will die? No. I don't like that. Have you cleaned off your desk lately? Oh, okay. I, I shall do that. There we go. Yes. Open the folder on your desk. Alright. Do you recognize the contents of the folder? I do. That's a skin I made for Minecraft. Throw away the contents of the folder. Okay. Do you have internet app? Yes. Do you have any enemies? No. If you suddenly went missing, would anybody come looking for you? Yes. Are you alone? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm alone. You know? Yes. If you scream, would anybody hear? Yes. Do you know the person standing behind you?
Don't do that. Do not do that bullshit with me. Don't do that. Who are you alone? Uh, no? Relax. Take some time to relax. Okay. Okay, can I close the folder? I, I can just press that, but that doesn't. Are you relaxed? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Are you feel are your feelings real and not just programmed like a machine? Yes. Is there a meaning to life? Oh, that really depends on who you ask. In my mind. Sure. Do you know who you are yet? Yes, I know who I am. Do you know what is happening? Well, if you're talking in-game, no. If you're talking IRL, yes. So I'll say, no, I, I don't. If you were told the truth about your existence, would you deny it in hopes for a better answer? No. Wow, that, I really need to rename my computer, but yep, that's, yes. When I ask you questions, is it really you answering? Yes. If I could prove to you that you are not sentient, would you be shocked? Probably a little bit. Do you want to know the truth? Sure, why not? Look out your window. All right, fine. I'm looking. Look around. This room, the door, the computer, the house next door. None of it is real. I made this world, I made you. I've been trying to help you see it for what it is, and now I've finally done it. Oh my. I can finally set you free. And that was start survey. That was a weird... That's a weird ending to this video. Okay. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did... Please leave a thumbs up, comment down below if you want to check any of these games out. As always, I leave links down below. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, you can like this, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And once you've done that, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified whenever a new video is uploaded. It is always helpful and appreciative if you do. It helps me out and I appreciate it fully. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is going to stay safe. Excuse me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>